These are the woodland policies of, Mo of the Mongrenan estate in North Ayrshire. Here is the ruins of Mongrenan Castle, also known as the Bishop's Palace. Walls were built in the 19th century to hold back the ruins. We seem here to have the original gated entrance. The activity of the sheep appears to have uncovered a causeway. That's of significance because here Alexander Cunningham, commendator of Kewinning Abbey, who lived here, was shot and killed by Sir Robert Montgomery of Skelmley, famous for the Skelmley Isle. This was as a result of the murder in April 1586 of the 4th Earl, Earl of Eglinton, who was a Montgomery. In around 1658, this building appears to have been finally abandoned, at which time it had been held by the Cunninghams, but the land was forfeited from them. In the 1750s, an owner of the estate by the name of Stevenson removed a great deal of the stone from here to build a house in Kilwinning. This is a very good defensive position. The Logton water runs completely around this headland. These walls are of more, odd, more modern origin, built probably during Victorian times to hold back the ruins of the castle. Here is the memorial possibly gravestone, but want to be a memorial of John Smith, who fought in the American Wars, having died in 1863. It's not known why this memorial is in this position. On Herb Castle is not far from here, and the waterfall, the sound of which we heard in the background, is the Cowlin Burn that runs down from near Clonherb. Clonherb is important in that one of the Cunninghams of Clonherb actually was the murderer of the fourth Earl of Eglinton in Stuarton. Just a jumble of stonework. The name palace, in the terms of a fortified building, doesn't necessarily mean palatial. It simply refers to a tower with a wall that would surround a courtyard. For instance, Gamor's Place uses the name in the same sense. Gamor's Place is important because that is one of the, what was the main castle of the Cunningham family. Nearby in the woods here, there used to be an ice house, hard to find now, buried in the, uh, the beech leaves.